going to see if Angela Walker is still in the room. Angela, if you're with us, we'd love to have you join us on the spotlight. Yes, I am. Oh, you are. Are you talking That's about me? I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Didn't you give us a nice, uh, a very, uh, a lovely video? Angela, tell us a little bit about your work while I'm setting up the video. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't expecting that, so I'm very happy about it. But I, I decided to do with my life what I always wanted. I always wanted to do something great, beautiful, bring the difference in this world. So I thought, since I work with art at the museum, I thought I could work with artists and I find particularly street art, the, just the most wonderful way to connect, to bring awareness, to see what is going on in the world, how to make a difference, how to, 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 to understand and to become solidaire. So I thought the explosion of art that is happening today is just the picture of how much the world is in need of dignity, solidarity, love, understanding, and justice. Oh, thank you so much for that introduction, Angela. I'm going to play your contribution now. <laughs> thank you. Greetings to all of you. My name is Angelica Walker and here is my message to the world. I was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I have always believed in mediation. I have been following with great enthusiasm and fascination the explosion of innovation in public art which has been transforming cities all over the world into open air museums. Street art is the democratization of art, art that stimulates imagination, art that denounces the affliction of the world and illuminates matters of equality, social justice, solidarity and human dignity. These are all subjects close to my heart since I was a child. Besides that, being connected to the art field gave me the opportunity to meet exceptional artists. Mundano is an artist and activist from Sao Paulo. His works concerning environmental awareness touch me profoundly. He transformed trash and recyclable collectors into heroes. His project Pimpi Mai Carroça, meaning cards, brought visibility, respect and dignity to these workers. He painted their cards with catchy phrases using humor and color. There is this extraordinary association in Portugal called Lata 65. It's made up of older citizens who have their stories with full of imagination placed on walls. I also admire the French artist JR. He takes photos of vulnerable people around the world and places them on walls, connecting their stories with the society. Last but not least, I should highlight Washington DC's walls. During the pandemics, some business owners commissioned artists to create murals of the Black Lives Matter movement. How do you think street art helps to develop solidarity 
and how do you perceive the transformations today? You see a transformation now because you see that uh, there are government programs and schools that are starting to see the value in art as well. And they are asking students to get more involved and the public to get more involved. And they're connecting art to social issues. So you see walls going up connected to Black Lives Matter, connected to St Stop Asian Hate. Uh, you see walls going up in response to the pandemic. So this is the value of art as it connects to our culture, our community, and creates solidarity through connecting it to social issues as well. And so it's as they say, the writing is on the wall. If you want to know some of the problems of today's society, a good thing for you to do is actually see what the artists are saying. It's a great way for you to create some solidarity by listening to the word on the street. Urban art impacts people. It raises awareness of social, political, and environmental issues. It can bring a smile, solidarity, dignity, and beauty. It's a way to express ideas for people to see, understand, and make a change. This is my message to the world. My gratitude for all nurturers of dignity. Thank you so much, Angela. Angelica it was just an incredible example of putting art at the heart of solidarity and dignity. And that's the most amazing thing about our community is we have people that are multi-talented, bringing dignity into the world in many, many different ways. And your, your video is a fantastic example. So we applaud you, we applaud you. Thank you, you so much, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much.